NoDQ.com. 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 The Jeff Meacham Network. Multiverse of Media. For over 15 years, the recognized symbol of excellence and the standard bearer in coverage of sports and entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today amongst family, friends, and fans to pay our final respects to the one, the only, Talk Wrestling. In a world of Conrads and Bischoffs, Saps and Salcedos, JDs and Russos, there is only one true podfather, and he is the man, the myth, the legend, the West Coast professor, Jeff Meacham. Talk Wrestling, which spawned out of Extreme Mayhem and XMV, was truly a revolutionary idea and product when it began. At the time, nobody else was doing a wrestling talk show of this magnitude. It took a true visionary to bring it to our screens every week, and for that, we must give Aaron Rift his proper due as well. Talk Wrestling came and went a few times over the years, and ironically, that's what would lead to its ultimate demise, as copycats would begin to pop up left and right in an attempt to fill the void. I'm not going to speak for every other podcast host out there, but I feel confident that I can speak for those of us affiliated with the Jeff Meacham Network Multiverse of Media. There would be no Renegade of Wrestling, no Jay Hebert side of things, no ATW View, no Indie Force podcast, no Rangers of Wrestling, if Talk Wrestling hadn't blazed the trail and kicked down the doors. With all of that being said, it is my tremendous honor to introduce to you for the final time, the host of Talk Wrestling for all of these years, Jeff Meacham. Jeff? Uh, wow. Um, <laughs> was not uh, prepared for that, but thank you, JJ. Um, hi. Yeah. Welcome to Talk Wrestling. For the last time, I realize now that I'm not live on Instagram like I meant to be, so that's my bad. Hopefully we can fix that. Uh, there it goes. Okay, cool. We're, we're live now, I think. Cool. Anywho, it wouldn't be a Jeff Meacham show without a botch, right? Um, God, 400, almost three, over 350 people watching on on uh, social media. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. Um, as the... Eulogy stated. Thank you again, JJ, for doing that. I, I, that was no. Uh, he he said, "Can I talk?" Sure, go for it. Um, I've uh, I've I've stopped and started this show a few times over the years. There's there's no doubt about it. Um, for a lot of different reasons. Um, and it's just one of those things that I I feel like the plethora of copycats has. Um, almost necessitated my ending the show. Uh, it's it's just kind of one of those deals. I um, I enjoy doing this show. I really do. But it's um, the 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 show was generated and um, conceptualized in a time where we didn't really rely on um. The super chatting and the the donations and the 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 view count being as uh as high as we needed to be to keep going right so um i uh 
and I, I i was i was told more than once you know go back to the old format go back to the old uh you know the, the way you used to do it um and um i uh and i did i did that i went back and started doing the um i started doing the uh the q a and it, it still didn't get traction so i figured okay let's just let's just treat this like we did wrestlemania 20 years ago where it all you know where it all begins again type deal right um so that's what we're doing today we're going to go ahead and uh say goodbye as nearly 400 of you are now watching my goodness gracious um which i appreciate don't get me wrong but you know the little, well, it's too little too late things right so what i decided to do today um and if somebody wants to you know uh come in i guess and uh and do what jj did um I, you know i it's one of those i will and i can't do that because i'm on aaron's channel too i i, I would i would i would definitely open it up to having people come in but i don't know if aaron will approve that and i can't get a hold of him obviously because i'm you know, somebody wants to reach out to Aaron and ask if I can do that. That's fine. Um, no, real white. It is not April Fool's joke. I am. I. This is the last talk. Right, and I know that's been said a couple of times. There was a series finale in 2011 that was pre-recorded prior to Aaron and I's falling out back then. And then in 2017, I, I 2017 I decided um, that I wasn't going to do the shows anymore because uh, those solo shows anymore, just because I actually was done. Period. At that point, and. I, I felt like the undertaker doing the the symbolic uh, removal of the gear in the ring after wrestlemania 33 was like okay maybe may, may, maybe it's time at that that was seven years ago y'all so it's it's one of those um i came back to no dq and then i started my own uh stuff in uh yeah, being in 2020 or late 2019 because you know i just honestly bored off my ass if i'm being real but um it, it, it couldn't come a better time because we were all stuck inside for a while shortly after that so it was kind of fortuitous that i did that um but yeah talk uh talk wrestling has been the reason i um was able to start my own channel and i i don't undersell that um when it comes to my gratitude for aaron and everything that aaron and um and no dq has done for me in what has truly become my professional life I, I i do what i do on these streams in order to generate revenue this is how i make my money right now yes i did work for disneyland most recently as a real job um but circumstances being what they were in my personal life i had to step away from that job and i'm hoping to go back we'll we'll see the more i'm hearing from other past uh past affiliates the more it's like um but we'll see um but anyway so what i decided and, and you know it, it's it's talk wrestling really and you know it, people talk about you know xmv and uh, xmv was wonderful for its time it was a it was a fun experience for its time um and i don't and i don't again i don't undersell that right um so we well, we have a super chat from cj thank you cj uh 20 dollars. he says this is for both you and jj as you know just a few months ago i just got back into wrestling but if wrestlemania sucks and with it being major league baseball season i seem to see myself dropping wrestling again any advice oh i was God, there's 500 people watching me jesus christ um <laughs> I can't even process that shit in my head right now. Uh, that's bonkers. Um, I will say, CJ, first of all, let me know where you super chatted that. So if it's to JJ or my channel, cool. We can, he and I can ask that shit out later. If it's to Aaron, it's no DQ. I have to actually, like, Aaron, hate that. That's my 20. Um, kind of what it is. As far as advice, I would say the better person to talk to is JJ. Um, as far as relinquishing the fandom again uh jj did that in 2014 um around the same time that punk left wwe and he jj was jaded enough to uh step away from a fan uh as a fan and he came back 
uh, not too long ago. And I, and I think creative had gotten um, better. Thank you guys for letting me know. It was to the Jeff Meacham Network YouTube. Thank you. That That's a great first day of the month for me. That's a, a fifth of the way, 20% of the, of, of the way to getting a payout in May, which will be helpful. I'll tell you why later. Um, I, I will say this, CJ, just it, it's ultimately what appeals to you. But we did say on, I think it was last night on um, our WrestleMania hype video that I popped into at the very end. There, we alone on the on the Multiverse of Media starting Saturday night have 16 straight days of content. That includes like nine watch-alongs. If there's something on one of those shows that doesn't appeal to your fandom, be it with WWE or you know NXT or AEW and Ring of Honor or TNA or New Japan, there's not a whole lot any of us in this little multiverse of media can say that's going to make wrestling a priority fandom uh, for you, especially over Major League Baseball. I know you have your Braves. You love your Braves. We talked about that when I was in Georgia a couple summers ago and how important the Braves are to you and opening weekend was this last weekend opening day so i all i will say is you have to ultimately make the decision of how much wrestling really means to you and i wouldn't predicate it on wrestlemania sucking or not but i will say that's very unlikely wrestlemania is going to suck this year we have a very very well built card a beautiful series of stories being told going into um Saturday night, uh, and of course, you know, Saturday morning with uh, Stan Deliver, and of course, the weekend, uh, you know, is going to be awesome. So, I would say just <sighs> it is ultimately your call. I will say, I I gave up doing the YouTube shows in 2017 after the Undertaker uh, apparently stepped away. Of course, we all know he didn't do that at that point. Uh, ultimately, he came back, but I never shied away from the fandom. Um, a lot of people I know have, and I've just kind of went, okay, that's cool. I, I pull back on my watching quite a bit, but I never really stopped. I never really hated the industry, hated the, the shows, hated the, uh, the business, but, um, it's really made it hard a lot of times over the years. So Got to go. Got to go with your heart, CJ. I know it's. Uh, I know it's cliche, but that's what you got to do, brother. Um, and Rock and Cody definitely have their work cut out for them um, after MMA hour this morning. Yeah, and I encourage everybody to watch that interview um, that Punk did with um, the MMA hour this morning. Very, very telling. Very, very revealing. And I just want to say this is freaking awesome. Because I want so bad for the NWA to do well, but I'm not going to lie. That's pretty friggin' cool. Anyhow, uh, Big G, $5. Thank you, sir. My culmination of my boyhood dream will come to fruition this weekend. I'll probably have tears. Dude, I I'll tell you what, Jeff. There is nothing quite like going to your first WrestleMania. Um, I had the dubious honor of mine being at WrestleMania 2000 in a arena that i'm not all that fond of if i'm being real because it's the home of the anaheim ducks but it was my first wrestlemania and i got to be there there were so many stars on that show right um uh and it was fun and then i went to wrestlemania 24 of course uh in florida with my with my father i went to wrestlemania last year the two first two night wrestlemania i've ever been to and that was cool because it was in la it was at sofi stadium which was which is you know right next door to my original home away from home right um the form so that was a unique experience um i know jj's been to wrestlemania when it was at the uh the then staples center um and big g's going to his first this weekend i'm pretty sure this is walter's first wrestlemania too so it's pretty cool you guys are not only going to your first mania but you're also going to host the nodq meetup on I think it's Friday. You guys said you have to you have to send me a a link for that, but I I honestly forgot. Um, and Josh, I, you know, it's your birthday. Like I don't expect you to 
super chat as often. I would like your participation a little more, if I'm being honest. But I understand you're busy with the work, so I'm not going to shit on you right now. This is my day. Um, but yeah, um, super chat Greg's channel. You know, super chat my channel on Wednesday when we're live with uh, the Greg Sherry Show. Give us a little love on Wednesday because Greg and Maddie and LJ are going to be there doing their WrestleMania predictions. It's going to be awesome. Um, I see, I see the link, but I can't uh, access it. G, so we'll, we'll do that and we'll. Um, We'll talk about it here at the end. Um, as far as just message him, DM him. You know, it's not not uh, not, a, not a really big deal. But thank you guys for the super chat so far. Much appreciated. Twenty five dollars is a, a fourth of the way to my day. So, and again, I'm going to Disneyland in May. Three days after payout day, actually. So that, that's ironically, we have six hundred nineteen. So shout out to Ray Mysterio. And uh, or actually, we have six one six. So uh, that was that's a uh, YouTube I follow on uh, about uh, a lot of things. So everybody's getting the synergy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyhow, so what I, I have a couple of highlights I want to show you guys. Um, while we uh, Matthew says I'm still waiting. Go to my first Mania Royal Rumble. Almost had a chance this year, but couldn't afford it. But I have been getting my fix next. Yeah, it was cool. You went to NXT and you saw the debut of the uh, Olympic gold medalist, the third in WWE history. So that's pretty cool. Um, we were talking about that on the show Saturday. The first highlight is definitive proof, ladies and gentlemen, that I am not Santa Claus, nor is Santa Claus me, at least in this case. Thank you all for watching Talk Wrestling this entire year. Hey, Sarah, Jeff, thank you. Wait a minute, Sarah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Santa, wait a minute. It's last show of the year. I gotta be on my last show. This is Talk right? Wrestling episode 96, by hey, the way. This is got 05, 06. Talk Wrestling. Santa, you wanna close out the show? Well, Jeff, I appreciate you letting me come on the show today and wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. And of course, a happy new year. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, well, then, you know, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, joyful holiday to you all. Same, Walter. Whatever you celebrate. Positive. Happy holidays. Thank you for watching Talk Wrestling here on NoDQ.com. Go to NoDQ.com for all of your wrestling needs, right? and we'll see you next, next level time. stuff here, guys. And we'll see you next year on Talk Wrestling. Yeah, it might be 08 because I'm pretty sure Dylan was already born by that time. That's a, that's a, that's a valid point. Um. Anyway. So pretty cool. Um, uh, yeah, it's funny I had that muted. I don't know why that uh, why that played. If it was, whoop, nope, 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 nope. That's funny. It's muted, but I'm still able to share it. That's that's funny. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna bring up the other one. The other one's even funnier, I think. For um, yeah, we we used to do the shows outside quite a bit, uh, both here and uh, at Aaron's place. You'll see highlights of Aaron's place here uh, momentarily. Um, yeah, Twitter started in 08 or 09. Yeah, it may have been 09. I, 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 yeah. It was right before we started doing HD, which, you know what? That was late 2009 is what that was. So forgive my, forgive my brain. Um, anyway. So, yeah, um, yeah, we we did shows quite a bit outside back in the day. Um, we would uh, be able to tape here in the front yard here at the the Meacham House. We would be able to do some of the stuff in the courtyard. Um, oh, wait, wait do you see my hair here in a minute? Holy shit! Um, like God, it's just fool. No DQ WrestleMania meetup is Sunday. 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Oh, 1 p.m. Eastern, so it's, it's going to be back there. Xfinity Live, 1100 Pattinson Avenue in Philadelphia. There you go. JJ coming through in the clutch, as he has done for me so many times over the years. And, yes, please go out and meet Walter and Big Baller G. They're going to be out there doing their thing on um, Sunday, WrestleMania Sunday. Watch the Slammies. You know, the, the Slammies are going to be in that area. So go watch the Slammies and then go see uh, Big Baller G and uh, – Mr. Reliable himself, Walter Cruz. You know you want to. Don't lie to yourself. Gosh darn it. Uh, okay, here it is right here. That's what I want. Thank you. All right. So this next one. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, boy. So back in, and again, this is 
I think early on enough where um, it, it, it's definitely, I think after Dylan was born that Aaron put this up. I don't remember. It, it said, I think it said like 16 years ago and he turned 16 this, this week. So it's close. I know that much. Um, anyway, let me get the video rolling. Hold on a second here. There it is. There we go. Um, full screen. All right. This is what Aaron has dubbed. And this is, you know, again, this is old, yeah, 14 years ago. So 2019 or, or no, no, 2009, excuse me. Jesus, can't count. 2009 was when this was first um, aired on the No DQ uh, YouTube channel. So here we go. God, this is again. Wait, wait, do y'all see this go to all 700 of you? Where do you see this shit? Hello, everyone. Love us. Let's do it. Hello, everyone. Love us. Let's do it. Flash from flipping. Hello, everyone. Love us. Episode 63. Here we go. I think they'll do very well for themselves. I think they'll do nothing, have nothing but success. I think we'll hear cars going by as they succeed. MySpace, YouTube. NoDQ.com, Twitter.com. We're everywhere. NoDQ forums, I think, are even posting the show on now. My God, we are all over the freaking net, just like the good old days of the other show we used to do back on this show. Little Rob. Show back on this show. What do you think about TNA's people coming out the door? The neighbors are all around us. They're even outside sometimes. They're sliding screen doors. Um, I was coming to my driveway. This is my Jeff Meacham white boy dance right here. Latina dance. There you go. Do that. Okay. No fucking consideration. I love a beach. A night well at all. All right. This one's from Jose Luis. Yeah, I like the gimmick. I like fucking the fly. <laughs> this is the worst show we've ever done. They're probably doing. They're probably doing better with the uh, TV fourteen than they are with the TV PG. My brother, God bless it, man. Yeah, yeah my, my brother. You know. It, it, We've been we've been doing these shows for over twenty years, and you know it's he sees me out there on the on the driveway. There's a camera in front of me. My computer and my my table are out there, and um, <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> anyway, I don't remember the first O question of the week. If you remember it, please post it. Well, God, I remember that. Uh, Jeff did the Daniel Garcia dance for Daniel Garcia. That yeah, that's accurate. That is accurate. Um, yes, I remember Edge Bear. I remember Edge Bear from the from the Talk Wrestling days. Um, what would current Jeff tell younger Jeff? Oh my God. Um, oh man. Well, I would tell that Jeff that was on the bloopers. Um, it ain't that serious. It is not that serious, y'all. It, it's you know, we're just goofing around doing YouTube shit. I mean, it's, it's different now, obviously, because of the circumstances. But back then, it was just man, have have fun with your buddies. Quit taking life so seriously. Um. Oh my God, I remember that. Like, how in the world? Yeah, right. Oh, what a horrible question. God, that's awful. Um, what would you current? Yeah, don't bet on Zach Ryder. Damn right. Or 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 yeah, yeah. Don't bet against Zach Ryder. What wouldn't current Jeff tell younger Jeff? Oh God. Um. Well, first of all, let me go back. Um, let me go back here, first of all. Current Jeff would tell younger Jeff, um, keep an eye on the boy. Um, be there for him more. Um, realize that he's struggling, um, as we all were during um, the COVID lockdown. Be more attentive. Be more present. Because I wasn't. And we're now playing catch-up ball, and it sucks big time. Like, big, big time. 
what I wouldn't tell my older, my younger self. Um, I probably wouldn't tell my younger self that I was going to be working at Disneyland because then I would have been aware of it and I probably would have found a way to not make it happen. And that's, that, that's just me. I'm very self-sabotaging. Um, so I probably not tell that Jeff that I'm going to be working at Disney because it was such a far off dream that knowing it was going to happen would have made me cocky about it, I think. And I would have, I would have found a way to screw it up. That's, that's the honest God's truth. Um, so I probably would have kept my mouth shut about that. If anything, talk wrestling became open mic night. I, in my opinion, I feel I can get everyone's point of view plus yours in a way it's not leaving fully. So yeah, that's, that's kind of where I was going to go, but I'll, I'll go ahead and do it now, Manuel, since you and your sister and Tony Atkins are basically sponsored open mic night. And I got JJ and I both, uh, what we needed as far as the money for the month. So thank you again, the three of you. Golly. Um, so I feel like talk wrestling um, in its earliest gestation, I guess, for lack of a better term, really, uh, really was a way for um, me to come back to the air and express my horrible, raw feelings about what happened with the Chris Benoit tragedy, right? Because it was. It was an awful time for all of us in, uh, as wrestling fans. And I wasn't really involved, involved in the indies or whatever at that point. So I was just another fan, right? Um, I still have another fan. Full my own shit there. God, that was awful. Um, but I think over the four years before Aaron and I had our falling out, I think it really became a way for me to. Yeah, there it is. There you go. Thank you, Walter. You you said it perfectly. Thank you. Um, it was my weekly therapy. You know, couldn't afford therapy. So that's that. That's what this show had had been. Um, when I brought it back in 2014, it wasn't the request of Rob Van Dam at the end of the day. Rob reached out to me. It's funny. So right after the Kings won the Stanley Cup for the second time in June of 2014, I took Dylan to the parks. Um, just he and I, and we did a Disney day. And on the way out, heading for the bus to go home, I got a, a message from Rob uh asking if I was still doing my shows because he had something from I said, I'm like, I'm not, but Okay, um, because at that point I had to find out with JJ too. Um, just, I had a people person apparently back in 2011, 2014. Um, but I reached out. To, Aaron and I had mended ways by this point, so I reached out. I said, "Hey, uh, I got a message from Rob. Has something to promote? Uh, can we get together?" And uh, yeah, so we did. It took till October of 2014, but we got there, and we went into the uh, little apartment rooftop there and at Venice Beach and um did a another hour and something with Rob as we do when we get together he and I and just uh, promoted his stuff talked about his career talked about him returning to the WWE talking about other things and then took my boy up to the Hollywood Bowl and saw Luke Ryan in concert so that was a hell of a hell of a day um but uh it, in saying that talk wrestling has allowed me the ability to um you know have this you know cultivated the, the multiverse of media um and be able to realize that i needed to have um the ability to delegate and the ability to have others do this besides me and still be able to participate and be able to um be able to uh get my views on wrestling my views on sports my views on life out there and talk wrestling 
has kind of already become sort of this like, oh yeah, it's still here. I forgot about that. But you know, I have, if I so choose, Meech's Musings, where it's I talk about everything. Um, I have the dads on wrestling shows. Uh, not always on wrestling. Uh, every other week that we do our top ten rankings, and I get together with JJ, you know, to do that show. Open mic night, which has become the showcase piece of the multiverse media every Saturday night without fail, or Sundays if we have to. Uh, but it, 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 we have not missed an episode in over a hundred episodes. So I think that's that, that, that that's a pretty cool stat in of itself. Um, XMV got to a hundred, and then we were done. Talk wrestling got to over a hundred, um, and now it is done. It's I, I think talk wrestling is over two hundred now. I don't I don't know the exact number. Forgive me. I don't have the count in front of me. Beyond like a hundred and earlier hundreds because we stopped counting at that point um when we went to hd in 2010. um so yeah and if i'm going to be honest if i'm going to be honest a lot of this it has to do with you know people in chat rooms i inhabit and don't inhabit now um saying oh you need to go back to the old format q a and do your thing and i did and it didn't help right um i had told myself a long time ago that if i did not enjoy anything any facet of a show or what i was doing or whatever that i was done and i have lied to myself and wrote myself a new internal contract way too many times um this show had its purpose this show had its place in my life in your lives in the within the multiverse with no dq it no longer solely occupies that place in my heart in my brain on my show on my channels on no dq um so it's not that it is just about one thing or two things um it's about the fact that talk wrestling is no longer unique and i i feel like i feel like you know with open mic night most definitely becoming the um the centerpiece of the multiverse of media and the jeff meacham network instead of this show and I have the show on either Thursday or Mondays, depending on when I put Beach News. By the way, Beatings will be this Thursday with our big final shill push and my predictions for damn near everything. And then Monday before Raw after Mania, we will have Beach Musings go back to Mondays. So programming note there. Um, yeah, Mike Knight has basically occupied the space that talk wrestling has filled for me for um almost 17 years and you know what the the the, the difference is the difference is if i miss open mic night i legitimately feel awful toward jay toward the people that show up every single week because i can't be bothered how shitty is that of me missing this show i haven't felt that way and i guess that's the real difference and i guess that's the real reason why it's done um i appreciate the hall of fame stuff in, in, in the chat um i again you know jj you made me cry you bastard um i um i i appreciate the acknowledgement from the people that i care about um because jj's right and they can sit there and you know brag all they want about you know how well they do and how much you know how much recognition they have and how much positivity they get feedback from from everybody in wrestling but there would be no thought process of those other channels, those other Patreons, those other anythings without this show and without NoDQ.com. And that is indisputable. And anybody that argues with me, great. I'm not going to argue with you because I don't need to deal with people that, I, that know they're right and they're wrong. 
So that is where I uh, that is where I stand on that. So with that being said, I will now take my leave. And I thank you all for those of you that have been patient with me, those of you that have been, you know, put up with my shit and, um, you know, put up with the show being inconsistent and not always here and not always the reliable thing that it used to be. Um, it's funny that you say that, Matthew, because I did have this to air and I completely forgot. Aaron, I know we're on ODQ, but it is what it is. I will leave you with this clip. From the single longest reigning AEW world champion of the last five years of the company's history. And completely made me realize that whatever bad I've put out there in the world, whatever, whatever, um, whatever and aaron is here and it's appropriate aaron's here at the end aaron i love you brother thank you for this um feel free to pop in if you want um i'll send you the link um you know what yeah let me aaron before i send you the link let me let me know if you want the link because we've got i, I allocated it myself till till 8 p.m until raw started so if you'd like to pop in and say something um message me on facebook and i'll send you the link i'll go ahead and bring facebook up just so I seize it. Um, and I'll send you the link if you would like to come on. Aaron's one of the ones that gets the pass. Um, I, I know somebody else, um, I know Josh asked earlier to come in, but I just I wanted to I wanted to keep going. Um yeah, I'll go ahead and send the link to Aaron if he wants to come in. That way he can um come in. But give me a second here. Anyway, let me run the clip I was talking about. I got, I got a little sidebar there. Um, but Matthew said, look at all the famous wrestlers you've met. That is a achievement. And the fact that MJF was one of your last ones and gave both, both channels a rub. Um, I mean, yeah, that's, that's valid. Um, and, uh, you know, did not ask him to do this for the record. This just kind of came out of him as we all know Max can do. You're live OG Clutch. I'll take it from here. Ladies and gentlemen, just in case you're deaf, dumb, blind, stupid, or since you, you know, watch Jeff Meacham programming, probably a little poor. My name is Maxwell Jacob Freeman. I am the longest reigning AEW world champion and the best professional wrestler on the fucking planet. And if you want to listen to the best professional wrestling journalist, broadcaster, commentator, fat guy, you need to check out Jeff Meacham's channel. He is far superior to Aaron Rift. When I was in middle school, and I wanted to watch the Monday Night Raw review. Every single time I watch Jeff Meacham, no DQ, YouTube, every week. He's very good at his job. He is as intelligent as he is fat. Thank you. That's a lot. And that's a lot. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> Damn. Um, oh, I miss Max. I agree with Matthew. I hope he comes back soon. God, that, the, the, the company misses him for sure. Um, is this a salmon colored blazer moment? No, sadly not, James. I wish it was. Um, I am not retiring for the record, I am not going anywhere. Just this show. The show is, um, the show is is, is done. Um, and, and but uh, Jeff Meacham will live on. JJ, if you want to come on back in, go ahead. I don't see a reply from Mr. Bossman, so feel free to. Pop on back in and you can, uh, whatever else you want to say, by all means, come on in and uh, say your thing. I know you gave me the eulogy and made me cry right before I came on camera. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's um, that's really it, guys. I didn't want to go more than 40 to 45. I want to make sure I got off the air here before Raw really kicked in. I know I don't get to watch late o'clock because we suck out here on the West Coast. And I don't have satellite footage. But, um, yeah, that's... Um, that's really what I wanted to say. So, um, since I went against what I was going to do, because I was just going to have Aaron be the guy to come back in. JJ is here. If anybody else that I know I can trust with being on both Aaron's and my channel, because Lord knows some of you, I can't do that. You, 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 you damn potty mouths, you, and you, 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 you trolls, you heathens, heathens. Bunch of nipple noggins, a lot of you. Um, there it is. There you go. Um, and yes, again, I said it. JJ said it. Thank you for saying it, by the way. Um, 
neither one is to sit near without Aaron. That's that's just the way it is. And I know I know I get sideways on Aaron a lot. I know a lot of us get sideways on Aaron a lot, but you know, he is uh he is the true pod father, if anything. And and I only say that because yes, I allowed for the the branching out, the extending of you know different people being on the um the uh the channels and having different channels be part of it having different shows be part of it but much like um you know in that vein much like vince mcmahon vincent k mcmahon and again i'm gonna i'm this is the part where i briefly kiss vince mcmahon's ass if you don't like it you can feel free to meet me much like vince mcmahon in the 80s um you know did his thing for the business if it wasn't for vince j mcmahon vincent k mcmahon never had the opportunity so i i, I have to give aaron that level of of uh, respect at the end of the day yeah so. I, I i take nothing away from aaron i meant what i said about him in the eulogy i only kind of uh, because without your initial departure he wouldn't have stepped up to be on camera no, I agree with that. I agree with that. He 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 did his role beautifully from a producer director standpoint. But you were the podfather as the original face of the company. That's valid. Okay. I will if go with he that. He was Vincent K. McMahon, you were Hulk Hogan. Which is ironic with you rocking the Meachamania shirt. That is a much more valid comparison, I think. There wouldn't have been one without the other in 83, 84. There wouldn't have been one the other in mm -hmm. 07, 08, 09, 10. That, 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 that and then with the expansion, you know, that's buying up WCW, buying up ECW, you know. Yeah. We, we won't go down the road of the invasion angle, but <laughs> bringing in all the other talent because you're bringing in all these other channels to create this multiverse we've cultivated. Yes. Sorry, doing laundry since the video on. Thank you for the invite, though. Okay, no worries, brother. I appreciate you. Um, so Aaron is Aaron's having laundry day before Raw starts. I'm not blaming man. We got got to have clean clothes to do these reviews. Freaking 13 days of streams. No wonder he's going to be doing laundry. Um, <laughs> that shit is valid. However, we do have somebody yeah. that I'm going to bring in, and I'm going to give him massive massive shit before he gets to start oh, talking. Crap. Here we go. Okay, so here's the deal. Love you too, JJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You you shush. I speak when spoken to. Um, now I understand this busy week for you, especially yesterday and the day before I get that, but since you're here, you will be the, the, the microcosm. If you will, there are 870 people watching this shit right now. Where the hell have y'all been for the last two years? <laughs> Just saying, I, I, I torpedo the show and nah, all of a sudden everybody comes out of the woodwork. Mm -hmm. You, while you've been around a lot more than the other 873 people, you've also found ways to not be present when we needed you. We needed that support. We needed that that Mansfield energy. So now that you've been properly scolded, you can feel free to kiss my ass and praise my show. Uh, where's my chapstick? Oh. That's right. I would bend over it, but... We, we we have people get thrown off the air, uh, throw, throw, all thrown off the air for stuff like that on this channel before no DQ wise anyway. So we'll leave that to that past. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. But yes, it was this whole week. I was a busy boy, and hey. even though I had officially tapped out from open mic night this week, at JJ's request, I came in to save your asses. Which hey, well, hold on there, Buster Roo. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. 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 Every, I know everyone comes to see Noah. No. Well, yeah, that's fair. So uh, joining us also, for, CJ, if you can tilt your camera forward just a smidge so you're more that a boy. No, but, uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> joining us from Brave Central, because Lord knows it's baseball season out there in Georgia. Hey, how are you? Good to see you, brother. Good There's to see you. an echo for what, whatever reason. That that's are you are you also watching the show? Yes. Okay. That's mute why. the mute the mute the thing where you're watching the show. 
Did that help? I don't know. Did it? You tell me. Yes. Okay, oh, there do you go. I need to cut that off? Okay, my bad. Yeah. So for for I mean, no. P please leave the stream running, but just mute, 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 mute. I mute, think YouTube that helped. Yeah, it did. Yeah. All right. So. CJ, yeah, I, I, I've been watching you for a long time. <laughs> a lot of great years, man. I know it was it was cool to get to see you and uh, and everybody when I went on my little our little our little Six Flags trip, and it was cool to be able to get into some of the some of the cool parts of Atlanta when I was down there and get to uh, you know, have dinner with you guys. That was really neat. So we're we'll have to. Oh yeah, you had bison for the first time. I did. I had I had a bison burger for the very first time when it I was, was in similar. Atlanta with with these guys. It was pretty cool. So. Um, anything you want to say as far as talk wrestling before we uh start to wrap it up here? It's hard to say just one thing, it's just yeah, that's like, valid. Thank you. Like, before you were what you again, you started what 07, like right around the Ben Wad tragedy. Yep, a couple weeks afterwards. Yeah, so you kind of helped to talk us. Talk about that. That was a bit of therapy because Benoit was always one of my favorites. That hit me hard. Yeah, it was. Not only did he die, it's like how he died. Like no, we weren't yeah. able to, they were able to tribute him. At least Eddie, they gave him a good, a really good tribute, and which they kind of did. But then they had to act like they didn't. But yes, yes. And right. then it's I kind of. I hate to make it, but I kind of wanted JJ's quick opinion about me being worried that my fandom might lose again if this week sucks. I guess a lot of it just has to do with what your standards are and what you expect from wrestling. You know, if you're expecting 14 yeah, matches the over two days that are five, six, seven star Meltzer classics. Go ahead and see your way out because you're not going to get uh, it. Yeah, yeah, uh, for real. But if you're looking for humor, if you're looking for entertainment, if you're looking for a diamond in a rough that could be polished into a gem, you'll find it. Insert CM Punk comment from this afternoon here. That nobody knows what you're talking about because none of us have watched that interview yet, Josh. Awesome. Yeah, jo yeah, yeah. I will say this. I'm not in that chat. Instead of beat by beat, how about we give uh, um, Aria a little love and actually just post the freaking link to the show? I did. I figured yeah. you were hearing about this from JJ. Oh, of course I was. Dude, I have eyes and ears everywhere, Muckerfather. I'm aware you do, boss. Okay. Oh, okay. Brother is CJ. Watching. Yeah, CJ, we're, we're, we're going since you, we're going to let you go since you're still moving around. Yeah, and everything, but thank, you for, thank you for popping in. I appreciate thank it, brother. You. I love your show, man. Thank, thank you. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Don't pop in on my show and move around the house. It doesn't help. Um, <laughs> oh. I, love, I love CJ. Um, Josh, what were you yeah. going to say before we, before we brought in CJ? I'm sorry. So, boss man, meet you. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right, how much lipstick am I going to, or not chapstick am I going to need? Fuck, no, I'm botching. <laughs> Dude, thank you for keeping me invested in everything. And like we've all been saying, open mic night can be therapy for a lot of us. And I think it's great that things have evolved to, you know, it was just, you know, you just doing you, but now... You're able to bounce off with everyone else right. in open mic night. And, you know, we get to just have a fun time. Whether sure. it's, you know, yelling at me for my, you know... Um, everything. Stupid, yeah, everything. Um, making Noah sing and do every other crazy thing under the sun. You know, driving JJ nuts. You know, la vie JJ. No, it's just always a great time, and you are the. How, how do I want to word this? Carefully. Yes, you you are the YouTube the wrestling YouTube Godfather, pretty much. So let Let's be real here. So, Jeffrey Mother Effing Meacham, we 
acknowledge you. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like that. We and don't you acknowledge know Roman Reigns, though. You suck. And you know what? Since I know you, I know we're 10 till the top of the hour. You want to wrap things up so that people on the East Coast can watch Raw and spoil it for everybody else in all the chat rooms. Yep. I'm going to give Talk Wrestling's farewell episode some breaking news. Oh. 35 minutes ago, it was announced via Instagram. The Rock will be inducting Liam Ivy in the Hall of Fame this year. Fuck yes! Language, Ron, no DQ. Damn it. Sorry, no, I, Aaron. Kick him out. I did too, to be fair. We only get one. Kick him out. I used more than one earlier, but Josh. I didn't hear it. I know. Well, but Josh, Josh, for real, thank, thank you. Um, again, that's you know, there's a reason I'm drinking during this episode. It's not easy. <laughs> um, I don't blame you. It, it's. I, it, 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 I made you cry a couple years ago. JJ can make you cry today. Well, WrestleMania everybody made me cry. To be fair, um, it, this was what it was. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I know you. I know you did. I know you did. Um, <laughs> but thank you guys, um, both of you, and um, yeah. For you, we'll see you tomorrow morning for Love of Wrestling. Um, are you are you putting the reviews on the regular feed? Because I get confused. I'll I'll talk to you about it afterwards. Oh, fair enough. Okay, but members only section over here. He's got some good reviews of these documentaries. Just throwing that shit out there, including the one premieres today on Peacock. He's going to review that on Thursday. So, and I so just yeah. shared my screen with the post real quick. If you want to pop that in, oh, okay. We can do. I have it muted because it's showing. It started off with some footage from the epic journey of Dwayne the Rock Johnson, and now it's kind of going through the video that I'm sure they're going to air tonight. But it says, "I'm honored to announce that I will be inducting my grandmother, Leah Maivia, into the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2024. One of the first ever female promoters of professional wrestling. She was a trailblazer. She was a protector." Oh. was the real Sorry. final boss. That's awesome. That's very cool. Yeah, I mean, if you watched... Sorry, I, I hit mute instead of trying... I was trying to make this full screen. I actually muted you for just a couple of seconds, but we, we heard you say the final boss. So that, was, that, was, that was the thing. If you watch Young Rock, um, you know, Leah brought flair into the territory when it was it was taboo for them to go... I don't think they were part of the NWA at that point. It was a, it was a big deal. Um, and, you know, and do Leah Maivia was the final boss. She was a badass. Um, so very cool. That I'm kind of surprised it's taken them so long to make this announcement, mm -hmm. but with it being no disrespect to Leah, but with it being somebody that not everybody's going to really know mm -hmm. with it being the go home to raw yep. with Rocky being announced for Raw today. Yep. It makes sense for today to be the announcement yep. of that. Dude, both Dwayne and Roman are going to be on the show tonight. Like, I, I, I need to find a way to get access to this at 5 o'clock. I'm losing my shit having to wait three extra hours. <laughs> I, I'm perfectly fine. Oh. Here, let, me, let me make sure I have the chat room <laughs> muted so that people <laughs> like Mansfield can't spoil shit. Just mute that shit now. Yeah, golly. Yeah, I, I usually have it muted, but I just want to make sure it doesn't like unmute and start blowing up like an hour and a half into it. So yeah, that's a valid point. The first hour is commercial free, dude. Yeah, and you know, Rock and Roman are gonna be that first hour. I was say if they are not that first hour, then Triple H already messed up. Can you imagine if they have a segment go like it did on SmackDown, where it's just them for an hour? Oh my God! Hey, between <laughs> Rock coming out, and I'm sure he's going to make the announcement of his grandmother. Yes. And Paul Heyman, another Hall of Famer, being in the ring with them. Dude, acknowledge the bloodline. It's it's one of the again. I need you to watch the Roman thing. I know you're going to at some point today. Let me just say this, without spoiling anything for the documentary for you. There is no disputing the claims of the wise man at this point. There's just not. 
No. I don't care if it's in character. I don't care if it's the context of a story. I don't care if Paul Heyman actually believes Joe Anawahi is the greatest of all time. I'm not arguing with the man anymore. I'm not going to do it. Nope. Shouldn't be and, doing it for the last four years to begin with. Yeah. I, I digress. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well we can't because it's, it's not Saturday. Um, anyway, thank you for the eulogy. Um, and I did, I meant everything that I said. I know. And I know, I know that there's a lot of people out there that probably saw that that think I'm just blowing smoke up your ass. But seriously, go back in the annals of history. There would be no Sean Ross Sapp. There would be no Denise Salcedo. No JD from NY. Hell, Vince Russo himself says he's only been doing this for 12 years. That was in 2012. Jeff yep. had five years of talk wrestling before Russo started doing this. Yep. And another five with XM and XMV. And Russo was part of those five years of XM and XMV. So... There'd be no Conrad Thompson, no Eric Bischoff on here, nope. Cornette, none of those people that nope. get the Patreon subscribers, the millions of views, you know, hundreds of dollars of super chats in a session if it wasn't for him and Aaron Rift. You don't know what you got till it's gone. And this is the end, my friend. Thank you. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to be that guy and go out solo on my sword here. So I will, uh, I will see you after raw tonight. If anything, we can talk about what you saw and what I have seen already. So thank you, my friend. I will, I will see you tonight for sure. Yes, sir. All right. And so this is the end. Um, I, you know, it, it's funny that, you know, the, 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 one of the greatest songs by one of the greatest ever, uh, Frank Sinatra. You know, Pat Patterson loves this song, and you know, um, through it all, I, I I I took the blows, and I am doing this my way. I am leaving my way. Um, so thank you guys again for uh, everything the last last seventeen years on this show, uh, the, the over twenty two period or almost twenty two period, and. Um, and yeah, Aaron Jager has a podcast. Never thought I'd see that again, right? Or never thought I'd see that period. So thank you guys again very much. Um, and uh, we'll see you tonight on this channel, no DQ channel for Aaron's Raw recap. And um, the rest of the week for all the content on the Multiverse of Media. Thank you, uh, Matt. Thank you, CJ, for popping in. Thank you, Josh, for popping in. We'll, uh, we'll see you down that road. But have a wonderful rest of your night. The Jeff Meacham Network, Multiverse of Media. For over 15 years, the recognized symbol of excellence and the standard bearer in coverage of sports and entertainment. No DQ.com. No DQ.com. No DQ.com. No DQ.com. No DQ.com. No DQ. Holy crap. Don't throw that out there. I love that. Raw hasn't started yet, but that's still pretty freaking cool. All right. And Colin's here. So I, I I know. It's April Fool. He's back. No, no, no. no. Just, I, I saw these comments come in before we were done. So um, <laughs> thank you guys again very much. Um, it, it, it wouldn't be an end without a botch from Jeff having to come back on really quick, right? All right. For real, though. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy Raw. I know I will when I get to. Have a good night, guys.